I have a surprise for you guys. I got a 3D resin printer and I wasn't planning on getting this until my birthday in April, but I received an offer from Gearbest who said that they would give me a 50% off coupon for this new printer. And I had been anticipating actually picking up the Elegoo Mars Pro that's supposed to be coming out at the middle of this month. But I went ahead and jumped on this offer to pick up this Chidi model. It retails for $300, but with the coupon, I got it for $150. So just to be clear, uh, I did receive a discount, a significant discount on this. So let's just say that I am 50% biased on this review. But let me go ahead and unbox this and let's see what is in this thing. As I've been exploring, 3D resin printers. It really came down to the Epax X1 or the Elegoo Mars Pro. I never really considered the Anycubic Photon because I felt like the other ones were uh, better than those. So I never really heard about Chidi having the Shadow 5.5. So I'm curious to see, but it has a lot of the features that the Elegoo Mars Pro has, which was why I was waiting until that model came out instead of getting the reg regular Elegoo Mars. Let's see, uh, we're receiving some tools, a hex wrench, as well as a screwdriver. We have a metal uh, scraper, Chidi Tech resin here, ready to go, which is really nice. We have a plastic scraper, a couple hex wrenches. We have a 16 gig gigabyte Toshiba thumb drive. We have power cord, power cable, we have some uh, nitrile gloves, a user manual, the film that goes onto the screen. So we have pretty much everything that we need. So let's go ahead and pull the printer out of the box. And there's a lot of good padding that's inside here, which I really like. All right, look at all that padding. So this thing is really well protected. And other people who have reviewed this says that it looks like Iron Man with the red and the gold colors. So the machine is pretty solid, has a good heft to it. And then right here on top, gives you a name of a person you can contact. And one of the things that I really like you know, um, you might think, oh, it's a Chinese company. They're not gonna be able to provide as good tech support. But when I bought my FlashForge Finder, I got awesome tech support from them. In fact, when I was having problems, they completely replaced my motherboard for free. And I had great communication and contact with them. Don't be afraid to order from a Chinese company because um, I've heard also Chidi has really awesome tech support if you have any issues or problems. So right away, you see that you have the dual rails, which was why I was waiting for the Elegoo um, Pro version, because I wanted the dual rails for stability. You have the active carbon filters, dual filters over here. And then you have this as well as the build plate. Uh, that seems pretty solid and very similar, I think, to the Anycubic Photon. But let me go ahead and get this set up and pretty much get it running and um, I'll show you how that looks like setting this machine up. So here we see not only with the user's manual, but a couple of pamphlets that tell you if you're running into issues or problems. And here's a whole pamphlet about how to level the print bed. And they provide you with this actually really thin sheet of paper to level your print bed. So I'm glad that they do that. And then here's a couple of issues or problems. If you're running into these problems, then it tells you what you can do to remedy them. One of the things that I really appreciate that they include with the printer is these tutorials. And so if you open up the thumb drive that they provide, one of the things you see is a good number of tutorials. So if you just click and open these things, you'll see that they're providing all of these helpful videos so that you can go through them and just see how things work. And so this is the unboxing. And um, there's basically no narration because I'm assuming they did this in China. 
And so it'll show you how to do the setup. And I basically use the video for how to level the printer. And so that is right here under repair and secondary leveling. And this was really helpful because it showed me how much tension to have when they are pulling the um, piece of paper right there. So it sort of shows you how tight it needs to be when you're leveling the thing. And it so goes through all the process of going through which buttons you need to push in order to set it up. So I went ahead and leveled the platform and it wasn't hard at all and was able to do it fairly quickly. So these videos are really helpful and if you have any issues or problems, go ahead and check out all of these videos that they include on the thumb drive. And then on here also is the test file that I'm gonna use to make my first print, which is this piggy bank. And you don't even need to go into the slicer, into Cheetah Box at all, but can uh, do a test print right away. So let me go ahead and show you the supplies that I've purchased. And basically, if, if you wanna see the, my source video of where I got the shopping list, go ahead and click here and you can see that. But I got some glass cleaner uh, from Amazon. It was about uh, $9, I think. I got these microfiber tiles from Walmart. This was like $4 something. Um, I got this razor scraper. Oh, I don't remember how much this was. I think it was like 2 or $3. Uh, I got this spatula set to clean off my um, vat with, from resin. And it was only a couple of dollars. Uh, I got these spare toothbrushes. Again, only a couple of dollars. This box of nitrile gloves. These were actually cheaper on Amazon for $10 because at Walmart these were $15. So uh, I ordered these online. I also ordered this pickle jar from Amazon and it was uh, $13 or $14, which I felt like is more expensive than it needs to be, but I didn't know where I could buy this locally. So I went ahead and ordered that off of Amazon. And then I printed this funnel to put the resin back into the bottle off of Thingiverse and I'll provide a link below in the descriptions if you wanted to print this out. I think this is cool because you can twist off uh, this bottom if it doesn't fit on the bottle and just use a regular funnel. And you put your filter right in here to pour into uh, back into the jar. I also got this ultrasonic cleaner for I think it was about $50. And then I got Mean Green. Instead of using isopropyl alcohol, Jesse on his channel, again, click here if you wanna see that. He did a test of all these different solvents and alternatives that you can use. And Mean Green is actually pretty cheap, so I went ahead and grabbed a bottle of that from my local Lowe's store. So you wanna make sure that you grab these supplies before you get started. Actually, one of the important things I want to point out is go ahead and grab a piece of microfiber. Do not use paper towels because they will actually scrape the LCD screen and make sure all of the dust is off of it and that it is completely clean. And so you just want to make sure that there are no dust particles on there. And also, the vat comes with um, FEP already on there. And so you don't need to apply that and just do the same thing and make sure there is no dust particles or obstructions on this screen. Right now I am going ahead and doing the first print using the piggy bank file that was included on the jump drive that I just plugged in here. So I didn't have to open up Cheetah Box at all, but am going ahead and trying out the first print. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with the um, cover but you know what, I was a little bit worried about the resin and the smell of the resin, but I'm finding that um, I can barely smell it. And so I don't know if this is a different uh, resin, low odor resin or not, but um, I know some people are really sensitive to the smell, but I'm finding that it doesn't smell hardly at all. So I'm happy with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and come back after this prints about four hours, and we'll see whether or not this works. This thing says how long it took, 3 hours, 38 minutes, and um, check it out. So here's the process. Um, I actually don't suggest using a razor unless you're having a really hard time because I ended up scratching my plate. 
So I'll use the plastic spatula that was included and I found that I could pretty much get the prints off using that plastic spatula as well as on some of my misprints I was able to use that plastic spatula to be able to get the resin that stuck onto the bottom of the resin vat using that plastic spatula because you definitely don't want to scratch up your FEP. So you might use a razor if you can't get that plastic just to start so that you can get the plastic spatula underneath there. But uh, I ended up scratching my build plate, which isn't a big deal. It didn't really cause problems later on, but definitely use the plastic one instead. So now I go ahead and grab my mean green and dunk it in my pickle jar and I swish it around for a while. So here I am just using an old toothbrush to scrub away most of the resin. Just be careful with any delicate pieces that you might have. Give it a final rinse and then I transfer it over to my ultrasonic cleaner and I set mine to 10 minutes. One of the things I like about this ultrasonic cleaner is that it actually heats up the water and I don't know if that's just naturally happening because of the ultrasonic waves, but um, it gets it to a warm temperature which I think does a better job of cleaning. So after 10 minutes I take it out and basically rinse it under some warm water just to get the mean green solvent off of there. And now I'm going to stick it in my homemade ultraviolet oven and I just basically watch some YouTube videos of other people who've used either um, paint buckets or other reflective things but I found this cheap mixing bowl at Walmart that had a reflective cover and set it on a timer so that it goes off after an hour. So that's pretty much the whole process and here you see the piggy bank came out really really nicely. I'm really excited in trying out different prints especially miniatures and so in the next video I'm going to go ahead and spend the week printing out miniatures but until then please go ahead and like the video subscribe if you want to see more as I venture forth in resin printing. But thanks so much. Make sure you check out my Patreon page. We're going to be giving away a couple of 3D prints soon. Happy printing and happy gaming. We'll see you next time.